These are Distress Oxide pads. They're a hybrid ink with a dye and pigment blend. They are water reactive, just like the original Distress pads, but because of the pigment blended in there, they have a little bit of opacity to them. You can also get separate ink pad refills. Now you'll notice at the bottom of that bottle, the pigment settled to the bottom. There's a little metal bearing or a little metal ball in that bottle. You'll wanna shake it up really, really well before you re-ink your pad. And I like to just go around the edges, kind of do a squiggle in the middle, and then I let that ink set in. If it sucks in really, really fast, your ink pad is really dry and it'll add a little bit more. Otherwise, most of the time, one application is good. These inks are creamier than the original Distress ink pads, and they also have a longer drying time. So they're perfect for blending. You have a lot longer to blend different colors in. And because of the water reactive properties, you can have fun with a technique like this where we're just adding water to sections of the stamped image, and then we're removing it. The original dye ink pads have more transparency to them than the oxide pads. The oxides are a little bit more opaque and have kind of more like a chalky suede finish. Both the Distress Pad and the Distress Oxide line have the same colors to them. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to have a more transparent look to them or whether you want them a little bit more opaque. And you can also use them together. The ink pad size is about three inches by three inches. So they're a nice size to hold in your hand to ink up your stamps. I've been using Distress Oxide since they first came out. They're a fabulous product and a great addition to your stamping inks.